what does this one say? Uh, Three people confirmed. Confirmed. So. And one is waiting at home to be uh, transferred. This was my team and I in the worst hit city of Daegu during the peak of the outbreak. COVID-19 carriers were tracked using the GPS on their mobile phones and by checking their bank records. Sometimes officials would also look at CCTV footage. This helped trace a patient's movements in the days before they'd tested positive and then alert others who might have been infected. So if someone in this cafe was confirmed with coronavirus, everyone in the area would be sent a text message telling them that they were at risk and that they needed to isolate themselves and get a test. The information was detailed and then put on a website like this for two weeks. This patient's a woman in her 60s, she's from the Dongsang neighbourhood. It tells us her bus route, the address of the restaurant she ate at, and it also says she was wearing a mask. The law allows this information to be released when an infectious disease threatens the country. This aggressive test, trace and isolate approach has kept South Koreans out of lockdown. It's also meant this country hasn't just flattened the curve, it's crushed it.